Erasmus Morii Encomium, Episode 16. Veluti cum alias diu consarcinate orationa fretoricen, aut philosophiam laudat, alius principis aliquius laudes describit, alias ad bellum adversus turcas movendum atortatur, alias futura praedicit. In the previous portion of the essay, Erasmus was describing how someone can get more benefit from something that is silly than from the many crabbed and specious arguments of learned men. And now he's going to give examples, just as cum, just as when, cum laudat, describit, antortatur, and praedicit. So there are four verbs here introduced by this subordinating conjunction veluti. Just as when someone, one person, that's alias, when one person, for a long time, with a stitched together speech, consarcanata orationa, this is feminine singular, and ablative of instrument, just as when someone, for a long time, with a stitched together speech, praises rhetoric or philosophy. Rhetoricane and philosophium are both accusative because they are the direct object of lauda, the subject being alias. A consarcinata, this is a participle from the verb consarcino consarcinare, which is a first conjugation verb. It means to stitch something together, like a garment. So he's mocking here the trite speeches and praise of rhetoric and philosophy. They're too common and they're just stitched together. Another person, just as when another person alias, of some prince, Principis Aliquius, this would be masculine, singular, and genitive because it's possessive, some governmental authority, when another person describes or recounts the praises, the virtues of some prince or another, and a third person, alias, Atortatur, urges, and the implicit object of Atortatur is probably Principem, Aliuma Principem, and when another guy urges or persuades some prince to waging war ad bellum moendum against the Turks. And when another guy, here's the fourth one, foretells or claims to foretell at least future events, futura. And futura is neuter, plural, and accusative. It's a substantive, the participle of esse, here used as the noun object of predicate. Let's look a little more closely at some of the grammar. We've already analyzed this portion. Our second subject, alias. This verb is describit, the object laudes, feminine plural and accusative, with this genitive expression, principis aliquius. The third subject, alias, with the verb adhortatur, which is a first conjugation deponent verb, adhortor, adhortari, like so. When the third person urges someone, and then we have the prepositional phrase ad bellum moendum. Moendum here is a gerundive. It's a gerundive, a verbal adjective, because it's modifying bellum, and so it's neuter, singular, and accusative as the object of ad. This is one of the Romans' favorite ways of expressing purpose, ad with a gerundive. A third guy urges some prince to wage war, for war to be waged, put awkwardly, against the Turks, adware sus turcas, which is masculine plural and accusative as the object of this preposition, adversus. And the fourth guy foretells, predicate, things that are about to happen.